to faculty and staff, to all of our loved ones here today, and those who are with us in spirit, to our classmates and friends, thank you. Thank you for being here. None of us anticipated that by graduation, our world would have changed so quickly and so drastically. In the midst of this historical global pandemic, the commencement carries more weight than it ever has before. We are here to celebrate for ourselves and for our fellow classmates, to express gratitude for those who offered support and love, and also looking forward to carrying what we have learned into the world at a time when they were needed more than ever. Four years ago, we'd gathered together in Peking University Shenzhen campus to begin a new chapter of our lives here in STL, which is known as the School of True Love. We didn't really know what we were getting into. A graduate education for four years, endless final exams under both the US and Chinese law, Professor Shertak's relentless questioning, Professor Mao's mysterious smile when we have naive ideas to share, Professor Campbell's request of handwritten outlines, Professor Stevenson's 200 pages reading materials per day. But we made it. We have laughed, cried, partied, and endured together throughout the past four years. None of us could have predicted how much our lives would change forever. STL is not an easy choice. We could have spent the past four years in other ways or at other places, but we never regret our choice. This law school means so many different things to each and every one of us. We look back and remember STL as the place we learned to write by showing but not telling to speak with passion and conviction, to listen with respect, even to our adversaries. And also, as Professor Rosenbaum's favorite request, to think a way that contradicts yourself. STL is the place we learn to work on behalf of others and for causes greater than ourselves. We have all come from different backgrounds and also go on to do different things. STL has equipped us with legal skills. More importantly, it has formed us to be a person with critical thinking ability, empathy, and humanity. We are living in a world that is changing in significant ways on a daily basis. A world that so many people cannot afford a life with enough food, with better education, or with dignity. A world that is facing political challenges and violence. A world that is calling on us to make a difference with all we have learned. As we move on in our lives and careers, I wish all of us can always push ourselves to not make the easy choice, but not but a choice that reflects courage, innovation, and our dreams. We did not make the easiest choices four years ago and we won't either in the future. We have all gone through a long journey to arrive at this very point. Each of us has had to face and overcome our own unique challenges, and we have. But the accomplishment wasn't achieved alone. So here, I would like to thank our professors, administrations, and staff for all of their supports and efforts, both seen and unseen. I would like to thank our loved ones whose support we have constantly relied upon in our lives. I would also like to thank my fellow classmates for the precious memories and friendship. Congratulations, class of 2020, and happy graduation.